Hello everyone. So today we will look at Virginia Cipher and uh, this is basically what we have uh, seen previously the Caesar Cipher. Uh, it's the same thing but the shift is going to be different for every word. So if it's like um, have a wonderful day or something you know? and these are my text right and then I have a key key it's a word so it says it's a life suppose life is my key and then so what we do is we look at it, take H and then look at the key it's the L so the shift for H, the Caesar cipher shift, how much the K value that we said pre previously will be depending upon how word L is in the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F. So in the alphabet L, where does it come? So in this case, B comes at 1, C, 2, 3. So we look at L and what is that value? That will be the shift of H. And then we look at A, A for I and then r for f and then e corresponding to e where does e comes you know uh, that much the e will be uh, shifted so now once we reach here we go back means one two three four four letters this and the a a will be again related to l so depending upon the key each and every word where how much the shift for that word in the alphabet then we shift each letter uh, in a caesar cipher manner so first so so we read right uh text the first letter and then we will look at the key right key first key the key zero and uh, where at alphabet where in alphabet right and what is which is basically the index so that will be our shift this will be the shift and then three shift basically find the Caesar cipher right with the letter and key will be our shift and then third accumulate right The only thing is that when you do this, we have to, uh, we need to make sure that once this is exhausted, once we run through at the in E, right? We need if, right? If we reach length, right? We need to rotate, rotate back and start with L. So it's very uh, straightforward and easy. Uh, so we can see if we can code it. So we go here. So what we say? Uh, first of all, say we need. We we'll, so here is the thing, right? We previously, uh, yesterday uh, or in the previous time, we wrote the Caesar cipher. So we can reuse the code from. I uh, do the fun. We wrote as a function. So I write import cipher Caesar. So basically, calculates. So this is the core signature with the star s. This is what we wrote, and the char value is the shift. And then, uh, and then we also reference the import string, right? And then say we can set the text value text equal to, uh, you know, have a, maybe like that. Have a wonderful day. And then have a key, say maybe mango, right? Something like that. And then we need the alphabet. So string dot as key letters, right? That will give us the lowercase alphabet. And then we say for right text letter in text. That will be the first letter. What we have to do first, we need to go through the key, right? I need to find out where first a m lies, right? So uh, so for that I need it to go and so i need something to run with that so i equal to zero and so i'll need to find the index value 
or which we can also call as the k value k equal to alpha dot in this right and then i have to say key of i right i that's my that will be my shift and now once i get that key once i get the key i can just do i can also initialize my the encrypted word something like a plain string and then what i can do is just find right encrypt i can accumulate plus equal to a cipher caesar i can put my letter and k value right uh, and then here is the thing right now we also need so once the loop is sometimes this mango or maybe read right so it will run run out so i need to now of course increment i plus equal to one right and i also have to say if we reach the end of the string right the end of the key so which will be if i equal to equal to length of key right i can ask to start over i can say start go to the beginning of the key and then um we can if you want print right print my text and an encrypt so let us see have a wonderful day i have already put something something like that wonderful day so this is the site is called crypty so let us see if it works T A I K O I O A J S D F H R R M Y. So that's it. So this uh, it seems to be working. So you can use the same thing test cases. You can call a bunch of uh, text cases at the under if if name equal to main, and then keep on uh, putting a bunch of uh, test case, and it will be useful to test the piece of code also wrap it in a function and then you can reuse it uh, if you want to use it so the, the, it is a very simple piece of code so here we have uh, seen that we can reuse the code so once we wrote something we can that's the whole point of coding right so we reuse rather than writing the whole thing here we imported it from the thing what we have written and we reused it and rest is a similar thing so here is folding back to zero and here is we are accumulating we wrote all this in multiple lines this is simply encrypt equal to encrypt plus we can do in multiple lines maybe first find this and the next line we can find the encrypt equal to encrypt plus that you know so we are using a shorter notations you know so for the brevity but if you prefer you could use a longer thing with the ultimately readability is what first count, counts so i believe it was easy to follow and uh, we have coded a visionaire cipher uh, thank you very much for watching